Hello everyone, today we're going to build a fountain for your above ground pool and it serves a couple of purposes. One is to keep the water flowing so it doesn't stay stagnant. Two is to make some calming sound so you can relax by your poolside. We are tapping into the return hose. So if you haven't had a chance to see how I've converted my return to PVC, check out the video in the description. And your setup may be different than mine, but regardless, we are still hooking it up to the return. Let's start by gluing the T adapter to the return with PVC glue. I'm using this cement and primer combo. Apply the primer to the PVC and then apply the cement glue. Keep in mind that these PVC glue dries fast, so make sure to move quickly. The T adapter that I'm using is a reducing T from 1.5 by 1.5 by 1. I'm connecting the fountain with a 1 inch PVC. Now I was only able to find a T adapter that is threaded, so if you can find a T adapter that is not threaded like this one, you can skip the previous step of adding an extra connector. Add primer and glue and finish connecting the T adapter to the return. And now we're all set up to connect the fountain, but first we have to connect the return PVC to the return hose. To do this, you'll need a 2 inch adapter like this one, a 1.5 inch reducing adapter, and a 1.5 inch threaded to non threaded adapter. And you will also need a 2 inch o-ring like this one. Use the original o-ring and add one of the o-rings that we purchased from the store. The orange connector doesn't screw all the way into the adapter because we are going from metrics to standard thread. It just won't fit and therefore we would need that second o-ring. So now we want to take the 1.5 inch reducing adapter and connect it to the 2 inch adapter. Make sure it's on nice and tight. Then we're going to want to get the 1.5 inch threaded to non threaded adapter and connect that also. Then finish connecting it to the return PVC and set aside. Now we're going to move on to the next step. Measure where you want to cut for your 1 inch PVC pipe. This is also where you will be installing your ball valve, which is your on and off switch. I recommend installing it a little bit higher so that way you can reach it from inside the pool without having to get out to turn it on and off. And finally, measure the remaining height where you want your fountain to sit on. Mine sits just right above the frame. Add the T connector at the top. This is where the sprinkler will be attached. Now we can go and put the sprinkler together while this dries. I'm using a total of eight sprinklers, four on each side, four on the left and four on the right. I'm using eight one by one by three quarter T adapters and a total of eight three quarters flex pipe adapters. So depending on the preferred spacing, mine was cut to 3 to 4 inches. Yours could be longer or shorter. And you can go with more or less sprinklers. The more sprinklers, the less of the flow. The less sprinklers, the higher the flow. And once you have all the sprinklers assembled, attach it to the T-junction. Once you have done that, let it dry for 24 hours and you're all set to go. 